hi, Erica here with Crafts Direct, and today I want to show you how to make this fun ceramic plate. All you need is a ceramic plate, a little bit of saran wrap, and a couple different colors of alcohol ink. And before you start, I really want to emphasize that my biggest tip for you is to not rush the drying time. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you what happens when you rush the drying time, so make sure to give it all the time it needs to dry. Let me show you how I went through the process of making this cute plate. To begin, we are going to start by cleaning our plate. So we want to take some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel and clean the entire surface of the plate. I primarily focused on the top of the plate because that's where I was going to be applying the alcohol ink. Next, we're going to take our saran wrap and cut a piece that's at least twice the size of the plate. We're going to lay that out and then we want to crinkle it up in the center where we're going to lay the plate. The crinkles is where it gives you the design that the alcohol ink is going to create on the plate. My plate was a little bit big for the saran wrap, so I took another piece of saran wrap and laid it perpendicular to the piece I had laid already, put it on top of that saran wrap, and again crinkled the saran wrap so there was some texture to it. Once you've got the saran wrap laid out, you're going to take a couple of your favorite colors of alcohol ink that you think will blend nicely together and just drip a little bit on the saran wrap. Evenly distribute the colors, think about what colors you want next to each other because they might bleed into each other. And then use the alcohol ink sparingly. If you use a lot of alcohol ink, you definitely need to up your drying time. Because the more ink you have on there, the longer it's going to take to dry. Go through with each different color of alcohol ink, add your drops to the saran wrap until you feel like you've got the amount you want. Now we're going to grab our clean plate and place it on the saran wrap. I'm trying to decorate the top of the plate, so I put that down. Then I started wrapping my saran wrap around it. Then I will flip the plate over and start pressing down the saran wrap. I'm trying to get out the bubbles, the air pockets, and just kind of push everything down so I can see the textures start to develop and the different designs start to develop. I'm just trying to push that all down so it'll dry nice. Don't worry about having too much white space. As you let the plate sit there with the alcohol inks, the alcohol inks will kind of move and seep into each other. You don't have to do too much mixing or pushing the colors to move around. Just trying to make sure to get those air bubbles out. Here you can see I did have a big white space, so I just thought I would play around with it and try and sneak a couple extra drops of alcohol ink in there. I cut a little slit, grabbed my color of alcohol ink, squeezed a couple drops in there, and then I was really careful as I continued to press down the saran wrap because alcohol ink does kind of stain your fingers, so I grabbed a paper towel and used that to help press everything down. And one trick for you if you do get alcohol ink on your fingers, that rubbing alcohol and a paper towel does help remove it. Now we've come to the hardest part of the project, which is letting it sit and dry. I recommend letting it sit for at least 48 hours. If you continue watching till the end, you'll see what happened when I rushed the process and took it out too early. So definitely let it dry for at least 48 hours. And if you used more alcohol ink, let it sit even longer. After at least 48 hours goes by, then you can finally take your plate Look at how the colors have kind of blurred together and created new colors, and then finally begin to unwrap the saran wrap. Start unwrapping from the bottom, pull up from the top. It might be kind of sticky as you pull, and that's okay. Just keep pulling until you get all that saran wrap off to reveal your beautiful design. Next up is to clean off the back of that plate. You probably got some alcohol ink on the back. If you would take rubbing alcohol and a paper towel, flip your plate over, you can apply the rubbing alcohol to the areas that got the alcohol ink on it, and then wipe it off. Eventually I found out that if I used one paper towel to apply the rubbing alcohol, and then a different paper towel to clean up the edges, it worked the best for me. You can also choose to leave these designs on the back. If you do, just make sure to seal it with your spray varnish, otherwise it will come off. Our final 
final step before enjoying our beautiful plate is to spray it with a spray varnish. So take it to a well ventilated area and do several coats of varnish. Now you've got a beautiful plate to enjoy. This was my first try with my alcohol inks. It's funny because I use the same colors and it looks so different, but I peeled it up before it was dry. You can see the alcohol inks are still wet and they started moving and smearing all together. Luckily, that rubbing alcohol can take everything off the plate and you can try again. You can find all the supplies to make this project at craftsrec.com and hop over to the projects tab.